What is going on everyone? My name is Boyt and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color with a one to zero lead in this best of three series is Domantis and his opponent today in the red color playing as Oranus is SMP4. The map is Blue Lagoon. And uh, that was a really good first game. We'll see if SMP4 can come up with something to take down the uh, the Hades of Demantis, or if Demantis' defensive capabilities will be too much of a match for him. Hades in this matchup is a, is a really interesting god because uh, he doesn't have access to the centaur, which Zeus does, and he doesn't have access to the cheap cavalry that Poseidon has. So he's, he's, he's kind of in this middle ground where he doesn't really have those big advantages uh, which Poseidon and Zeus has over, uh, over Arano. So he actually has to just play uh, this matchup at a bit of a disadvantage, you'd have to say. However... It's really hard for Arano's players to kill the Hades because of the buildings, because of the Sentinels. Uh, so it does mean that Hades gets to live longer. And if you know anything about how Arano's works, living longer generally means that you uh, win games. Because if Arano's doesn't kill you, uh, very, very rarely does Arano's win, right? <laughs> Uh, and that's the that's the thing. We do see some relics have already been spotted here. We do have the shingles of steel. That's a really key relic here. If you've uh, ever there's a, there's a really well, I wouldn't say famous, but in my opinion, should be a really famous game of AOM King against uh, KRT Phil in one of the only games which Phil has beaten AOM King's Zeus with his Thor. He actually had shingles of steel and he built all of his houses in a way in which that he, he could defend against the onslaught of the Athena rush. Uh, and it was all because of this relic, because of the extra... 200% house hit points. And then if you add in the Hades capabilities on that would be very, very big indeed. Now on the other corner of the map, we do have the Titan's treasure here, which may be a very good relic for SMP4 to pick up, really help his uh, a semi-fast Titan here, which is a great strategy against a defensive Hades. We do see a really forward base or forward hunt grabbed here for Demantis, and this may mean that we could be seeing some sort of an Ares rush here from Demantis going so far forward, because he can throw up a temple on this location here, no problems, and then with a forward gold mine here, an Ares rush could be huge, getting out a Cyclops or two, plus the early heroes, and then follow that up with a, with a, uh, with a stable and a military academy, very difficult to defend against. It's very close to how Poseidon likes to play these forward gold mine matchups and can get some very easy wins. So we'll see if Demantis can can pull that one off. And not only uh I think I think arguably Hades is a little bit stronger than Poseidon in the Ares rush because Chiron outclasses Hippolyta just a little bit because of the movement speed that he has. Uh, because he'll be able to get from the town center to the gold mine just a little bit faster than the Hippolyta. So we'll see if that happens. Prometheus is coming in. And if we check out the uh, uh, the AH2s of... Oh, we haven't seen it just yet. We are, we are seeing an early Ajax and house going up. So it's looking like no Ares rush, no forward temple, no shenanigans here for Demantis. Nice and safe play. Okay, fine. No worries. On to the berries though. Not opting to go for these zebra. A little bit confused about that one. He had... He's moving over onto the gold mine. It's looking like a, a fast second town center here from Demantis. Maybe? He's going for this many villages on gold. How's his resource situation looking? Uh, one. We've got... Oh, he's very low on the resources, so I, I don't think he's going to get the, the town center up in time if he is going for a second town center. So he may just be going... I've got no idea, to be honest. We've got some walls coming up over here. I like that already. Um, but we'll see what SMP4 can do. He should uh, probably be Oracle heroing this and pushing off Hunt here because... 
on this map, Blue Lagoon, the hunt spawns around in a circle like this on your uh, on your on your base. So you, it's really easy to find the hunt, uh, and you can get some nice damage done nice and early. We do see the Promethean gets deleted instantly for some speedy Promethean offspring. Going to be coming forward uh, onto this location here instantly, but the villagers moving back over onto the zebra here, so there's no problems there. I actually wouldn't have minded. Oh, I say there's no hunt here, it's just one baboon. I was going to say I wouldn't mind it moving over onto the baboon, baboon in this corner instead of the zebra and just sneaking that one a little bit. But SMP4, I don't know if he knows about it. Let's check his fog of war. He's got no idea that there's hunt over here, but he is already moving in that direction. He's going to be very lucky to find this, but he may just miss it as he's searching the corner first. Uh, that's, that's unfortunate, uh, but he may move a little bit forward a little bit later. We do see the elephant in the corner getting eaten here. Does Demantis know about that one? He will know about it. He's seen the manor, he's seen the gazelle, so we'll be sending his heroes over there very, very fast. Uh, and where's the Ajax at, though? That's the question I've got. We've got the town center coming up now for Demantis. No early hero, though. We do see the Prometheans running over there as well. But the uh, the Minotaur will be enough to defend against this one. No problems. We do see some hero, uh, Mermillo hero, Terma coming in. Uh, there are quite a few pigs left here. So this early uh, town center is going to be no problem. We do see a shockwave coming down to, to prevent this town center from going up very fast. The uh, hero units coming in for SMP4 as well. The, the Minotaur special attack one shots at the Promethean. And then two uh, slashes of the Promethean offspring there. Going to be uh, almost picking that one off. And now the Terma coming in and going to be able to do nothing there. Gets a couple of uh, chip damage onto the Minotaur. Uh, and there's the Shingles of Steel for Demantis as the Town Center comes up. So this is perfect as perfect can be right now for Demantis. Two Town Centers up. Lose no villages. Picked off a couple of Prometheans here. He can just chill on this. And he's got a really nice defensive position here. He wants to... I would love to see a wall getting thrown up here just because this gold mine is a little bit exposed here. If you come in through this location here, you're going to be able to raid this, hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. No problems there. So we will see. There's a second town center for SMP4. Very, very early. Uh, and... Like, I don't hate the early second town centers here from Aranis, but you don't want to be committing too much to this. You want to definitely push off Hunt. And, and I think this is just simply because SMP4 didn't spot it, but he sees the zebra there as well. So he knows there's something. And now the villagers moving over onto the baboon, moving up to these zebra here as well. Um, something I think that Aranis players should consider doing uh, against Greek players that are going for these fast second town centers is just go for one military barracks instead of going for two or two one military building I should say instead of two military buildings early because that means you get this second town center up a little bit faster uh, and you also get to put the pressure on as well with uh, with just a couple of units because you're not really looking to kill anything off as you can see these units you're not going to kill any villages you're just pressuring off resources and, um, and that's basically all that happens we do see the Chiron coming after the citizen but too many units here to hit onto the uh Onto the citizen, there's the Valor going to be able to give the citizen just a little bit more HP as the Chiron is getting pushed away and the citizen needs to come back over onto this town center and, and, and get that one up again. We just see the Zebra have finished. They've been back into the base now having to start on farms. Uh, I much I, I don't I don't like early farms when you've got this many pigs here. Uh, yes, you get a little bit more resources out of the pigs because they get a one, was it one pig every four seconds? Wait. That's when neutral. One per every three seconds went owned, so you get extra food every three seconds. So delaying them is important, but you get more food, way more food from the pigs than you do from the farm. So I think it's worth it to get the early, uh, early food income rather than the later food income with more. If that makes any sense at all. Um, but yep, yeah, we're uh, we're over here, random villager in the corner of the map, second town center on the way. No real pressure, able to be done to Chef SMP4. Uh, and I think he hasn't scouted out the base very well of Demantis here. And this is this is the big 
one of the big differences between uh, some of the best Aranus players I've seen is they just know where to attack because they've scouted really well. Uh, and it's really difficult for Aranus players to scout early because these oracles, if you move them in here, they just get pushed back by the Catascopus. So this is a credit to Demantis for preventing the scouting in his base onto that gold mine. But just you send these early terminal, the early Mamillo in, and you just you sacrifice some HP to get some information, and then you know where to attack. Because right now, this spot is getting nothing for SMP4, and this is exactly what Demantis wants here exactly what Demantis wants uh, but the big I guess the only problem that uh, Demantis can potentially run into right now it's going to be a second gold mine this is the best gold mine for Demantis there's two gold mines in this position he could potentially sneak this one wall off wall off towers and whatnot should be fine but a Hyperion timing a two town center Hyperion timing here onto that gold mine uh, could be could be a uh, difficult for Demantis to hold on to, so we're gonna have to uh, see Demantis potentially go through Aphrodite here to make sure that he can uh, counter the first chaos uh, of SMP4 and that push. Uh, maybe it may be important. Uh, and now we just see Demantis getting a little bit out of position here. I, I don't like this as Greek. As Greek, you you don't want to fight as best as you can. You just want to. Chill as much as you possibly can. He looks like he is going for this town center, but there's no real need to go for the town center until you're 130 population. Here we do see the Valor coming in, Shockwave coming in, Villagers uh, running around, and that's going to force Demantis back. And he's just losing so many units here. And this is what I'm talking about. Got to play defensive here as Hades. When you're going for these two town center plays, you are, you are winning by doing nothing is the general gist of it. If you do something... It's probably going to go bad for you. It's probably going to go bad for you. And we do see SMP4 gets a big advantage right now. But again, he's just not knowing where to attack. If he could just run around this forest here and hit this gold mine, uh, that would be huge because that slows down the resources of Demantis quite significantly. But Demantis already sitting at 500 gold. Another stable coming down as he's trying to pump these units out. He's got three... Uh, military buildings once that fourth one no armory coming up just yet more military buildings coming down going for a two of each type so just trying to get everything out that he possibly can uh, and Demantis's economy upgrades looking pretty good for this point in the game we do see uh, some straggler units over here get picked off by SMP4 he's trying to push through this gate and this is a, such a smart wall here from Demantis because it makes it seem like this location is worth attacking but in reality there's nothing over here. There's the wood, the wood operation, wood chopping operation going over here. But SMP4 still hasn't noticed it. He's, there's there's no way that, well, there, there could be another wood line over here, but there's no way that there's no villagers mining from here or here. Like if there's nothing over here, which is seen, they have to be over this location. They just have to be. And this is a huge fight right now for Demantis. Restoration able to come in because these units are completely trapped. And this is absolutely gigantic right now for Demantis. He picks up nearly everything from SMP4. He just drops down to 100 population here. 104 population. Demantis 125 population. It's going to allow Demantis to get this second town center or third town center, I should say, which is absolutely huge. Now, SMP4 not able to get his own second or third town center here. And he really has to go for... He's going through Thayer. I, I don't know about the Thayer here. Uh, Thayer does indicate to me that he wants to go for a semi-fast Titan is the real only reason to go Thayer here on this map. Uh, but we are seeing the Dryads coming out, which will help out with the fighting. Uh, but now the village is moving on to this gold and, and uh, S&P 4 should start thinking about hitting that uh, and raiding that one hard. The village is moving forward to the town, so you know we're going to get this one. I don't think you win this fight anymore. With the with the Stymphalian birds, the Chiron will be able to pick those off, but it's looking like moving back with all the Dryads and everything else, maybe he'll be able to get this one up. I'm not sure, but it's just all oh, the lion coming in to help out as the village is picking this, uh, this oracle up. Uh, but... Uh, I think the uh, I, I think that these Stymphalian birds would be so much better as a Satyr right now. Moving forward for just an all-in gold staff would be just the way to go here. But it's just obviously not the choice of SMP4. And Demantis is going to be very, very happy right now on three town centers. Just booming away. He's going to be able to hit the, uh, the Mythic Age by about 15, 30 or 16 minutes here. Uh, and given given the situation he's in, cancelling military units as well. Very very smart to let the rest of that population become uh, 
uh, become villages. You don't want to over militarize. So you just want to make sure you keep pumping out those villages and, and, and getting the economy coming. And there's the third town center up for SMP4. And he's looking like he's going to be on his way to the Mythic Age very shortly, but not raiding this, not eating anything right now. He's just playing super passive. And it's this is this is not good for runners. Runners is very, very strong god, but you have to be aggressive. Otherwise, it just doesn't work out. But I mean, if he does, if he can get Hecate and he can do some damage with Hecate onto this location, potentially a Tartarian gate here with some pressure here would be really, really good. If you see some villagers moving over to the corner to throw down a market as Demantis is on his way to, or he's on his way to the Mythic Age now, already in the Heroic Age. Did he go through Apollo? I did not see. He's gone through Aphrodite here, so not going for Apollo, not going for any uh, underworld shenanigans. Chiron already over here to push back these Stymphalion birds, and they're just getting no value right now, losing a lot of HP for free as the Chiron is perfectly positioned to defend this. And we'll see where it goes. Does uh, SMP4 have any plan to go for a palace here? He is throwing up a palace. So maybe going instead of an early uh, Titan Age here, he's going for a, a, a Tartarian push following with some, um, what are they called? Fire Siphons. We see the Chiron does snipe one of those Stymphalian birds as well. So we'll see if this works out for him, but trying to go for this is difficult against the uh, against the Hades here. Uh, we got, are we gonna, where are we? Oh, nice raid over here with the, the Nemean Lions from Demantis, as well as the uh, the Hippocons here. And if we if we check the age four, Artemis is on its way for Demantis, not even opting for the uh, the safe route through, uh, through the, what do you call it? The, the Hephaestus, because going through Hephaestus counters the, the Tartarian Gate, because you just get that Colossus over and he picks off the Tartarian Gate by himself. We are seeing SMP4 now coming forward and you bash through this gate, potentially throw down a, uh, throw down the, the Tartarian Gate there and, uh, and see if he can make this work for him or not. Uh, and we do see the hero Mamilla coming over to pick off these units here in the corner. Nemean Lion. Oh no, he's not running away. not paying attention to this because he's getting attacked on this location as well. Pushing through right now. Heavy infantry. And we do see the uh, the curse coming in. That's going to prevent this attack from doing too much damage. We do see a Lampade coming in, which is going to convert only one unit. And then, uh, oh, he's going to lose it as well. He's sacrificing the Lampade. This is a, this is a really good unit to have against... Um, oh, he's retreating away from it because he well, no there you go does does pick that one off uh there you go and we just oh that's a beautiful a beautiful wall set up there as this town center is going to get sieged down by Demantis with some really nice positioning here. Fire Siphon is pushing onto the fortress, but the town center is going to go down much faster than the Fire Siphon here. And now the strong Greek units are just going to come through and tear up these heavy Terma. Ark is going to be replacing them, but the population situation right now is 154 to 144. So uh, Demantis just pushing way too hard. And there's the earthquake as well, or the. Uh, whatever you call it, the, the Artemis earthquake coming in, gonna be casting that one down into the main base of SMP4, gonna be able to take down this town center. No, picks off everything else though in the base. While this town center falls, you have to be careful where you cast that earthquake because you don't wanna pick off some of these useless buildings. Gonna put it down in this corner over here and definitely kill the town center. We do see the Tartarian gate over here as the units moving in, but there's already Petropolis here, which you're gonna be able to pick this off instantly. So this Tartarian gate just not gonna get much value at all and these heroes are over here to prevent this one the push forward for demand is deciding to retreat a little bit here not sure why that's that's the case he's still sitting with a lot of uh, a lot of population here over SMP4 is sitting 120 of 120. All he's got to do is pick off these Stymphalian birds with the Chiron and he should be totally fine. A little bit of Miss Micro on those Petropolis though. And the Arcus are able to pick off the Chiron though because he's not retreating that one back. Uh, some Miss Micro there, but the but the army's size is still in a solid advantage for Demantis. And now Perseus come in. This Perseus is, is that a range attack? Can he use can he use his special on the uh, Stim Valley birds? I mean, no, he can't. He can't. He can't use his special on the Stim Valley birds. There you go. The more you know, maybe that should be fixed. Chrono JJ, get that one fixed there. We need to buff Perseus a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, 
Alrighty then. The Heliopolis coming out now for Domantis as he's pushing through. And this is just looking like uh, a desperate attempt now for SMP4. Trying to get out those Fanatics. Not a bad idea, but already making uh, Hypaspis to deal with those. It's very, very smart. Another Chiron out to finish off these Stymphalion Birds as well. And that's going to be... Uh, that's going to spell... The end of the game here, I think, for SMP4. He hasn't started a trade route either, whereas Demantis is completely set up. The armory upgrades, he's got copper shields, copper weapons, whereas SMP4's got nothing. And these Heliopolis, with a 650 HP, able to just push through and take down the palace and everything else in here. The Petropolis sieging away, and SMP4 does tap out in this moment. GG! Well played by Demantis here, but... Uh, I do think that SMP4, while I, like his mechanics were good here, it was just about decision making. Had he placed Tartarian Gate here instead of here, would have done so much more damage. If he had raided through this location, if he had scouted this gold mine and raided through and hit this gold mine a bunch more, would have been much better for him because he would have been able to slow down Demantis considerably uh, and. Just in general, I think taking this fight here, running through a choke point like this, always very dangerous, uh, but getting caught out there was very big for Demantis because that allowed him to get this second town center up or third town center up basically for free or for the cost of a uh, restoration there. And once that town center was up, SMP4 was just too far behind. Uh, and I think, I think if he went for Hyperion here instead, uh, he would have been able to do a Satyr push uh, instead of the instead of what he did, maybe go for uh, throw throw down a palace and go uh, transition away from Mermillo a termite into destroyer Arcus with the uh, with the Satyr as well. Very very strong and really difficult for Greek to defend against those heroic age pushes um, because they they don't want to sit in the heroic age and you're forcing them to with the with the aggression. But not happening in this game and Demantis takes it two to zero. GG, a well played. If you did enjoy this game, would appreciate if you followed the Twitch or hit the subscribe button on the YouTubes. Do appreciate you guys. And we'll move on to a next game very shortly. Thank you all for hanging out with me.